In this video, I will explain how to do a site calibration using SCS900. In this case, I have just set up my GPS rover. Once that is complete, SCS900 will prompt the user if they want to start a site calibration. From there, I would hit yes. Now I will add control points to add to my site calibration. Here I'm adding control one, and then I'll hit select. In this dialog, I am entering the static mode settings for my rover. So the antenna height is measured to the bottom of my antenna. The vertical height is 2 meters and 4 centimeters for my quick release adapter. The horizontal and vertical accuracies I want to achieve is 2.5 centimeters, and the measurement time that I want is 15 seconds. Now I position my rover over the control point and hit start to start measuring the control point. Now, SCS900 is measuring the control point for 15 seconds. While my control point is being measured, SCS900 shows the current precision of my rover. Alright, and there it is, it's measured, and there's my control point. After measuring the first control point, I am now measuring my second control point. I select control 2 on the map view. And now I'm walking over to control 2 to set up my rover over the point. Again, I put my rover over the control point and level it. Then I'll hit select. I'm using the same settings that I used for the first control point, so I'll just go ahead and hit start. Now SDS 900 is measuring for 15 seconds based on the measurement settings. Once that is done, I can add another control point. Alright, and there's my second control point. When two control points are measured, SDS 900 is able to get my position for guidance shown here on the map view. Now I am measuring control 3, making sure my rover is over my control point and leveled. Alright, and now I'll hit select. using the same settings as before, and now I'll hit start. Once that is done, I can store the point. With three measured control points, I can obtain residuals for all three points. I would like to measure four control points, so I'll add another point and walk over to control point 4, level my rover over the point, and once I'm level over the point, I'll hit select. I'm using the same settings as before, so I'll hit start and initiate the measurement. Now I have residuals for all four points. When I hit report, I can see the accuracy of my site calibration. In my site calibration settings, I can add a geoid, change the vertical and horizontal tolerance, 
and state how many points I need to compute an incline plane. Here, I can check and uncheck horizontal or vertical components if a point is out of tolerance. I can now hit finish to complete the site calibration. Now I can use the site calibration on all my machines and rovers. What I also did here is store the position on my base station as a ground control point.